the airport in Los Angeles at 2 p.m. on Friday, and it is now 5.30 p.m. Saturday. We just arrived in Punta Arenas. We're back in Patagonia, and now we have about a half hour to wait for a bus, and then we have a three-hour bus ride to Natalis. So, yeah, a lot of travel today, a lot of travel. Sore and tired. Well, this is home sweet home for the next few weeks. A little uh, kitchen slash living area. And uh, yeah, just a bedroom with a couple beds. Everything you need, nothing you don't. We awoke Halloween morning, our first day back in Natalis to find the city on lockdown for the annual three-hour race. Hey, sorry. <laughs> 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 we made it! Yeah. Undeterred, we battled the wind and street closures to be reunited with our home on wheels after 16 months. Oh, there she is. I'm a happy girl. Oh, man. Holy crap. I forgot how big it was. It's a hell of a lot bigger than the 500. <laughs> oh man, I forgot how to do all this. I've been struggling with straps and buckles trying to figure out how to put Humpty Dumpty back together again, but I think I finally got it. After sorting through our gear, contending with a dead battery, and a bit of fun and games, we returned to the house to prepare for a night on the town with friends. Rose, you getting ready for Halloween? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I was going to the bathroom, but yeah, yeah okay. we can go out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max's first run on the Africa Twin, and this is what happens. I'm so confused, man. <laughs> <laughs> we spent the entire week reuniting with friends, barbecuing, getting the paperwork sorted on the bike, attending the fourth annual motorcycle rally, working on the bike, setting up house, and sifting through the ashes of our former life in Patagonia in preparation for life on the road. It's a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. Uh. Part of that preparation required new tires, fresh oil, seals and bearings for the Africa Twin, only available three hours south in Punta Arenas. It just so happened that Diego's new Vosges Rally 300 was due for its break-in service, so the boys set off together for what would be Diego's longest ride on two wheels to date. Okay, I'm done. Call me a taxi. What? You're call done? Me a taxi. I'm you want to call you? Okay, I'll call you a taxi. You can ride on the back of my bike if you like. We'll just ditch mine. Okay, yeah, we'll put yours in the ditch. Hey, look what I found. He was also about to get a lesson in trail side repairs. Somebody got a flat tire. This time it's not Diego. <laughs> Shortly after buying his moto, Diego suffered a flat tire of his own a few miles outside of town. With no tools or experience fixing a flat, he was stranded for hours waiting on a recovery. Yeah. 
Diego's getting a crash course. But after 6,000 miles of hard riding and over a year sitting in a barn, Chad's TKC 70s weren't looking too hot. Let's make a bet. What do you want to bet? We have 95 kilometers to go to Punta Arenas. 95 kilometers? Where the new tires are waiting for us. Yeah. Things are falling apart. That, that tire is pretty much done for. I think, I think we'll make it. I think we'll get there. Only 95 kilometers, I have faith. An hour outside of town, with a cold night on the side of the highway up for grabs, the boys pushed on and persevered. Heading directly to La Guarida, Chad settled for the only tires available, managing to snag the last 21-inch tire in all of Magallanes. Phase one is complete. We got some new tires. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's all they had, so beggars can't be choosers. After dropping the bike off at the local shop, they retired to a friend's house for the night. That's a motorcycle dog right there. <laughs> Almost ran me over. <laughs> well, she's got some new shoes on her. Looking good. Oh, that's you. After a long day lounging around Zona Franca, the guys picked up their rides and set off much later than expected, battling Patagonia's notorious winds on their way north. Oh, How you doing? Good. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> you getting blown around a little bit? Oh. <laughs> I hope it's not a whole trip like this. This isn't even that windy. Fuck you. No, I've been in a lot worse. That switch could bite. <laughs> Despite having made the journey south on a single tank of gas, Diego's 300 was no match for the wind. I'm running out of fuel. Are you? Huh? Better top her off. You out of gas? Oh shit. But a liter at a time wasn't doing the trick. And before long, they had to tap into Chad's roto pack. Then, a mere 10 kilometers from town, they got stopped at the inspection station at Casas Viejas, the exact same spot where Chad was almost deported to Argentina at 3 a.m. on a snowy winter night, three years prior. Hola. Hola, buenas. ¿Cómo está? Permiso de circulation. Todo papeles aquí. Ya. Falta el permiso de circulación. While the Africa Twins' permiso de circulación, technical inspection, and insurance were all in order, Chad did not have a Chilean driver's license a requirement for foreigners living in the country on a resident visa. So instead, Chad simply handed over his passport, his California driver's license, and hoped for the best. <laughs> 